we are live sir so very good evening to all of you and today we have a privilege that dr bikash sahu is with us on our dbm say youtube channel and dr bikash has secured rank 20 in neat pg 2024 exam so very good congrats dr bikash and to all your family members because your success is not your own alone it's all about your family also so a very big congrats to you dr bikash thank you sir thanks a lot sir it means uh, it means a lot for me means a lot to me okay sir, so dr bikash totally an unexpected rank like, uh, this really is what i wanted to ask did you expect this rank or not <laughs> Uh, sir, my test went uh, quite good only. I was expecting a good rank, but this was like uh, 20 is really an uh, unexpected rank. Okay, okay. That's that's fine. So, Dr. Vikash, uh, if if I ask a few questions, uh, how did you start preparing for this exam? Like, when did you start, it, when did you start preparing for the exam? And, uh, like, and uh, how were you associated with our DBMC for this preparation? Sir, actually, uh, in my third year, I think I got a scholarship from DBMCI. It was, I, I got that advanced pack as a scholarship and uh, it continued till now only. Okay. So, my, but my PG oriented preparation started after my internship, that is uh, this Feb, Feb 2024. Okay. So, uh, because you're from which college, from which state? I am from Odisha. I am from Bhubaneswar, Odisha. Okay. okay. So you got a, a scholarship from the DBMC and you got yeah. this advanced pack. So and actually may you're preparing for the uh, exam in after your internship only, right? But, yes. Sir. So how did you utilize this advanced pack during your college days when you were in third or fourth year? Uh, sir, I, I watched two to three videos, like uh, two to three subjects. Mm -hmm. I watched the Dr. Ashwini sir's anatomy mm -hmm. completely mm -hmm. and I watched the pediatrics. Dr. Okay. Pankaj sir, at that time Dr. Pankaj sir was there. Okay. So I watched the pediatrics from there. Okay. So I made my own handwritten notes for both anatomy and pediatrics from uh, DBMCI, uh, from okay. eGuruku lab. Mm -hmm. And uh, but my PG preparation and my grant test and all, I started giving uh, after this uh, Feb, Feb 2024 only, I started giving those grants. So somewhere your journey of preparing the exam is uh, act, uh, the uh, actual journey is of only one year, I can say. When after yes, you continue preparing for the exams, it's approximately one year, and because this exam is delayed, so it is approximately one or one and a half year, right? No, no, sir. This February, this February 2024. Okay, this February 24, you have yeah, got yeah, yeah. internship. Yes, sir. I am from 2018 batch. Okay, so you started preparing for this exam when you entered in the internship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Sir. Okay. So you have got approximately 15 months for the preparation for the exam. 15, 16 months for this preparation, right? Uh, okay. But the, during internship, I wasn't having that much time for, to prepare. Only after internship got over, like uh, actually from six to seven months, I had uh, time, proper time to prepare. Okay. But during internship, you were also preparing for this exam? Yes, sir. Uh, during internship, I was uh, uh, mm -hmm. eligible for November INI, November INI CT 2023. Mm -hmm. uh, at that time, I got a rank of 295. Okay. So okay. for one month, I had prepared at that time, around one and one and a half month, I had prepared at, around that time. After okay. that, only when the internship got over, I started preparing for this. Right, right. And uh, like if many students are watching this video, what do you suggest them? Like how to go about this preparation? Because 90 subjects, preparing 90 subjects, uh, mugging up the content of 90 subjects is difficult for all students to uh, read all the subjects, 90 subjects, doing the MCQs and side by side doing the internship also. So that load, how to handle that stress? Uh, I would uh, like to say that uh, first uh, theory you have to be thorough at least once. At least once you have to read the theory completely for all subjects. Okay. Then the most important thing for preparation is MCQs. The more number of MCQs you do, the better it is. Grant mm -hmm. tests, MCQs and all. The, that is the most important thing. Like The more number of MCQs, uh, it is the better. Because content, everyone, everyone knows, the, knows the content. Like everyone, nearly everyone is thorough with the content. Mm -hmm. Like the theory wise content, but mm -hmm. what matters, what gives the rank is MCQ practice only. And Dr. Vikash, these days students are just following this revision courses or the short courses. So, and they, they are asking us the question, ki, are these short courses or the revision courses sufficient for the preparation or not? So what do you have opinion about this? Uh, I would like the to students say, should uh, read the subjects properly or these short shortcut courses are sufficient enough to clear the exam. Like uh, this time need uh, yeah, the questions uh, were like some conceptual questions were there. 
like many mm-hmm. conceptual questions were there so mm-hmm. i don't think that can be only done by only done by short, short subjects you have mm-hmm. to be thorough in uh, subjects fully completely you have to be in thorough mm-hmm. in subjects short subjects are like it is kind of a boost kind of a booster thing or kind of a revision thing you can get but mm-hmm. the, the primary you can't take it as a primary source of your preparation okay. the primary source of preparation has to be complete like thorough your full completed notes that should be the primary source of preparation okay and uh, how many gts and gclt you have given and how these uh, test when you have given your internship or maybe after internship how this test have really helped you out in your preparing preparation specifically in the last month i gave around some 11 gts 11 gts so okay 11 gts good. in last one month from various platforms okay. uh, including dbm ci and maro i gave some 11 gts from various platforms okay and i reviewed everything i reviewed all 200 questions fully fully i reviewed all 200 so questions you have analyzed that gts after giving that right yeah 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 that is the most important thing giving gts anyone can give gts but reviewing and making sure that you don't repeat the same mistake in the next gt that is what is important i try to minimize my mistakes in gt by not repeating the same mistake it's okay to make new mistake if you don't know the topic then you can again go and uh, see from your theory from your theory notebooks or anything but making or repeating the same mistakes is like uh, bad it will uh, make your rank go down so mm-hmm. practicing more and more gt is help will help to reduce that making the same mistakes again and again okay and uh, like it's uh, like one question has four options Hmm. so if you practice one question it is like you are practicing four question so 200 question gt is means it is 800 questions you are already doing if you are reviewing fully completely okay so 11 gt is means i i did some 2200 questions around uh, last month okay so like it was a booster uh, it gave me a lot of confidence and doing gt is also if you make any mistake then you will remember them better theory mm-hmm. you will re- read it read it and then you will forget it anyway mm-hmm. so practicing But, mcq is the main key Yes, yes, yes. And practicing MCQ, MCQ in forms of test or in forms of question bank, yes. or subject of any, test, any way like we are practicing test. MCQ that is going to be helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. MCQs are the key. Okay, and like in DBMC, we we will also provide you vibe like the visual uh, uh, session, mm-hmm. visual sessions, vibe sessions. Also, we give you that SWTs and one short revision. So how yeah, yeah. how these short courses were helpful to you in your exam? that one shot revision i started actually i started watching mm-hmm. i couldn't complete it i i accept i couldn't complete it i mm-hmm. watched some two to three uh, subjects completely okay. one shot like it was like but i felt that it is uh, the content is really good and mm-hmm. it is a very good uh, revision course okay. and the gt is based on that one shot i gave all there were four gt conducted last month mm-hmm. The, mm-hmm. those were free gt mm-hmm. like anybody could have taken so those four gt is uh, like it was really very helpful okay that's really good and dr vikas when did, when you got this rank so like what where were you exactly when you got this rank were you on the duty because you just just said that you you have got a 295 rank in aims so did you join some branch in aims or i mean no 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 i actually wanted medicine i didn't get okay. at that time so i okay. didn't so you were not on duties so when so when you got the exam when you got this result i mean yesterday so what were you doing at that time with whom you were at that time i was sleeping there I just woke sleep. up from sleep. <laughs> I just woke up from sleep and saw that my friend, some of my friends, texted about this. That need PG result has come out. Actually, I was afraid to open that. Uh, I was afraid to open that <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, PDF. Then mm-hmm. I just built built up my courage and uh, and I opened it. And with whom you share your uh, this result first of all? Uh, of course, my parents. My parents okay. were there. Like we were going to have dinner at that time, okay. around ten thirty. Okay. So just before that, I opened it, and I saw them, and I told them. They, were, I shared my uh, results with them in the beginning. Okay, they must have felt very happy, right? Ki, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Gosh, has got and that yeah. dinner. I mean, what did you have dinner yesterday? <laughs> yesterday dinner, I couldn't enjoy it properly. If I <laughs> if I say I didn't, I couldn't enjoy it properly because like I was busy with uh, talking to many friends and all about my and that. Okay. So, but I had. Uh, Uh, chapati and uh, chicken was there okay okay <laughs> that's only i actually i i've been to this uh, orissa so many times and people are very fond of the seafood and uh, everything over there yeah so yeah, yeah. fish is like a delicacy here yeah. fish it's like a staple diet i will say 
and dr vikash like the many juniors who must be watching this video so what your suggestion to them when should they start preparing for this neat pg preparation and how should they go about it actually uh, i used uh, these uh, like platforms various platforms uh, mm -hmm. during my third year and final year prof for prof exam that was not neat pg oriented or mcq mm -hmm. practice oriented but i mm -hmm. used those uh, videos and uh, those concepts for my prof exam so mm -hmm. they they were uh, they were very helpful so i had my base strong from beginning mm -hmm. only i had my base and concept strong so after internship when i started doing the mcqs and all and giving gts then it just added up kept adding up kept adding up and uh, now mm -hmm. i am finally here so i i would uh, like to say that third year is the best time to start for preparation because uh, third year the subjects are also short and you will get a lot of time okay so third, third year is the best time to start preparing yeah yeah third year definitely. and dr vikash okay. there are many students who are also contacting us and who were expecting good rank in the exam but unfortunately they couldn't get the good rank so they are asking sir although we have given our 100% but still we have not got the good rank so should we wait for this november exam should we try this november aims exam and if 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 our answer is yes you should try you should give one more attempt because you should get your uh, uh, field of your choice because like you were you were waiting for the medicine now this time you have got the medicine yes. so even if other students are targeting their dream branch so what extra thing they can do now in the next 4 or 5 months so that they can secure a better rank like any any mantra for them any secret that you can tell them yeah the next inct is on november 10 november 10th i think yeah. november 10th inai is there so the main thing is uh, the exam day matters like what how is your mind on the day of exam that matters a lot so you mm -hmm. have to be calm like in may inict this time like i was a bit panicked during the exam so my performance dipped a bit dipped the bit so this time during neat i was totally calm i had a good mm -hmm. night's sleep and i went for the exam so exam day uh, exam day mind mindset uh, it matters a lot it really matters a lot along with that your hard work and whatever you have done i will say that uh, since uh, you have given this neat and you are now trying for ini so you already know your theory like you are clear over your theory thing so the best thing will be to do mcq practice as as much as you can as much as you can mcq practice and mcq practice that's all mcq yes, plus gt is also like some mcqs like and gts 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 mainly mcqs and gts and, and gts also... should be like at least once a week it, 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 more week. the more the better but at least uh, once a week GTs. and they also ask a question dr vikash ki like for uh, uh, like when they are going for this pyqs or the pvc or questions uh, till what year they have to attempt the questions like last 5 years are sufficient or should they go for the 10 years or 15 years because we have seen there are many old mcqs which have no relevance these days so should student go for these 5 10 years or 15 years questions or should he should concentrate only on the last 5 years question uh, for neat pg i think last 5 to 6 years uh, pyqs are enough because they NICT? don't Huh. For INICT, PYQs are a must because they are direct PYQs that they take it and they put it in the exam. Like there are direct questions they put it. So, so last five INICT, to six years. Six to seven years. Okay. Five to six years. Because each year there will be two exams. So you will get some 14 papers. Like mm -hmm. 14 tests will be there. Uh, so 14 PYQ, like uh, PY uh, tests will be there. Previous year tests will be there. I will guess some six to seven years will be enough for uh, INICT. Okay, okay. So now for you, it's very clear that you are going to take the MD medicine, right? Yes, yes. Sir. And which state you are planning to take? In Delhi? Delhi. Delhi, Delhi. Delhi. In which college, which college you have shot it out? No, that I haven't decided yet. Not I decided yet. Yeah. Okay. So Dr. Vikash, it was nice talking to you. And we have learned so many things from you, like how to go about the exam and uh, importance of not getting panic during the day of exam because that you have specifically mentioned that you were not able to got uh, you're not able to get the good rank in the INCT just because of the panic that you have uh, you have made on that particular day. Yes, yes, that's yes. very important. And the importance of MCQs and giving GTS is very important. You have given eleven very GTS important. in your last month, so that's very yes, yes. the main key is I think the eleven GTS that you have given and yeah, that yeah, gave yeah. you the confidence so that you didn't get panic in the day of the exam. Yeah, yeah. Like I was sure that uh, there won't be any other questions. There they can't ask any other questions other than this exactly. GT. Like eleven GTS, like twenty two hundred questions. Like you have covered most of them. Right, so right. There was no scope that they would ask any other questions. Right, right.
thanks dr vikas thanks for spending so much of time now i mean i, I know that there are so many celebrations going at your end so you should enjoy these days you should not uh, leave the leave, leave this chance of enjoying this success days of yours so thanks for this and thanks everybody for watching this video thank you sir thanks a lot